Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we're going to be working on a layout that is an old layout. So we're just going to go ahead and revoice over it. And then coming up, we will go ahead and remake it. The collection that I'm using is that, um, what was it called? Bella Rouge. That's what it was. Pink's Paisley's Bella Rouge. Oh my goodness, I loved this collection so much. I thought it was so, so pretty. You can see right there, I am using this text piece as a background. I did put some gesso on there just to kind of fade out the words a little bit. A lot of that is going to end up being covered up. So eh. I think back in this day, I just really liked to play with the mixed media a lot. I don't get into that as much as I used to. Right here, of course, I made a rookie mistake. I did not ink the edges until after I put the paper down. <laughs> I used to do that a lot, and then I'd get ink smudges all over my project. Oh my goodness. I'd used to do that all the time. So I do have four circles that I'd cut out. I believe I cut these out of my silhouette. You can see how they're kind of wonky. These were the center parts of that squiggly circle that I used to uh, use a lot from the silhouette store. Uh, yeah, so I still had a couple of these left over. So I went ahead and just used them, even though they're not really circles, they're just kind of wonky, circular type shapes. I am going to um, arrange them in this order. Now, I'm thinking that this must have been off of a sketch because I mean, I got this idea somewhere and I'm pretty sure it did not come out of my own head. Right here, I have these little butterflies. They're kind of like plastic stickery butterflies. I'm not sure where they came from. Probably the dollar store. I'm, I'm not really even sure. But I do use a few of those right down there just kind of like as a border strip at the bottom. And here I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find some layering papers to put underneath that photo and also start pulling out some embellishments that I think I might want to use. Back in this day when I would use acetate or vellum no, I think, I don't think I did with a vellum. I think it was just mostly acetate. I do have one of those little Xyron sticker makers. I used to run all my acetate through there. So you might see some, some of that coming up. I know on this one, I did use that. I don't have it in the screen, but I did use that. And you can see, th that's how I know I used it is I could see the remnants of it. You know, the sticky pieces of it pulled off and thrown down onto the desk. I did do a little stenciling on here. I used this little Swiss cross motif and just ran some texture paste through it. I used to use a hot glue gun a lot as well, especially if I was putting it on mixed media. So on this layout, I am using the um, hot glue gun. I used to really like that a lot and probably I still would. Perhaps maybe I might um, have to pull it out. I did not pull it out on the remake, but I remember when I used to use that hot glue gun all the time, it would give you a little bit of definition underneath the pieces you're putting down, almost like you were popping them up on foam tape or something. It would just kind of pop them up a little bit. And I really enjoyed that, but I haven't used it for a while. Um, with the, with the heat guns, nope, mm -mm, glue guns, you would sometimes get a lot of webbing. Um, the little, you know, glue strings that would come off of them. I did not love that so much. I think that's probably why I had gotten away from it. All right, so I am going to build this cluster up in the top right. I'm going to do one at the top left of the photo and also to the right hand side of the photo. I have a little bit of a hard time deciding on exactly what I'm going to be using on this layout because with this collection, I loved everything. I mean, I really did. It was super pretty. This was several years ago, like before I even had grandkids, but I would pull this um, collection out and use it. I've, I've done um, layouts with it for all three of my nieces. I did it. Well, I have more than three nieces, but I know I did brand one about Brandis in it, one for Kayla and one for Tasha, all with the same collection because I really, really really enjoyed it. Right there I showed you I pulled out a ribbon. I don't remember what the brand was, but that's going to end up being covered up. I can't even really see what it what it um, says. Right there you can see I took out a chip brush. Those are called chip brushes where I work. <laughs> I might have accidentally took one home with me and that's what I would use to get the hot glue strings off of my projects. 
they really love to get on the top of your photos for some reason. I did go ahead and put down some butterflies around the page. Those were from Heidi Swap. And then I put down some black Heidi Swap color shine. <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember when I used to use the Heidi Swap color shine in black a lot. And a lot of times it wouldn't dry for me. On this particular layout, I did actually, if you can believe it, I did did go up to my bonus room where my albums are stored and I went ahead and pulled out the layout so I could take better photos of it. I'm not really good at taking photos of my layouts now, but back then I was even worse about it. I mean, the photos are just not fabulous. The ones that come up at the end of the of the video. So I did make sure I pulled out this layout and took some fresh photos of it. So I have it in front of me and I can see everything that I've done. It's, it's really kind of cool to go back and revisit these, especially when you have them in hand. I think that's pretty cool. So see, you can see right there's where I said, uh-uh, that um, rub on's not going to be working. I did take this chipboard piece that says beautiful on it. I'm also going to end up pulling out some sequins, some silver sequins, and I just used Scotch Quick Dry to put them down, and I'm sitting here. Again, it's in front of me. You hear it? Still on the page protector. I took it out of the page protector to do photos, but obviously I put it back in the page protector. Anyways, I did use some silver sequins around the page and I put it down with that Scotch Quick Dry and they are all still stuck. Nothing has fallen off down at the bottom of the page yet, so that's pretty cool. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You can see I am putting things back down. I did end up taking that butterfly paper and fussy cutting several butterflies out of it to put down around the page. I really used to love fussy cutting so, so much. And I still really enjoy it. But like if Jim and I would go somewhere and I knew we were going to be in the car for a while, I would take a piece of paper that I could fussy cut. I would take that with me. <laughs> I did end up pulling out some enamel dots. These are in peach. This um, Bella Rouge collection does have some peach in it in that butterfly paper. So I went ahead and chose that instead of doing it in the pink. And I put those down around the page. You can see right there I also used a sticker that says travel log. All right, guys, after I do that, I am not doing anything else this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.